Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Terra Nova and today we are uh, playing the Sims 3 clone challenge. Um, yeah, so I think this is episode number two, so um, yeah. Uh, the last episode we left off just kind of meeting our housemates and um, basically like two seconds after I quit recording she was called, Emma was called to the university meet and greet. So um, that's where we are now and then she was immediately just uh, taken with the mascot Mr. Garrison Fort. Um, they both find each other extremely attractive. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, basically that's everything. Um, she's just chatting with him, I asked like the basic questions, his sign, if he's single, all that fun stuff. And, um, he is level 10 in the nerd social group, so that's cool. Um, he might be able to help us out a little bit. It says right here she just gained enough nerd influence to join this social group, so that's cool. Um, he's a Capricorn, that's not much special. Oh, he's single though. That's cool. We like that. But anyways, um, I think they've kind of talked enough. We learned that he's a light sleeper. Um, I don't know what else we can really do. Um, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna have Emma come over here and get all of the freebies. Because being a broke college student, I know how much fun freebies are. Um... Uh, while I wasn't not recording, um, she had the wish to meet a rebel and get free item from the vending machine. So I'm gonna have her go right up here. And, um, shake the machine. Hopefully she doesn't die. Um, that would be absolutely awful. Just awful. Alright, come on. Slam the machine. You can do better than that. Shake it again. Nothing? Okay, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> I really don't want her to die. Um, but I'm just gonna have her run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll see who do we have around here. Um, let's say hi to everyone I can see. Because we want to meet a plant sim, and I think the best way to do that is to meet everyone. Quite honestly. There, we'll just double speed through this, see if there's anyone else I missed. Oh, and there's a fairy over here. This guy we can talk to. She and him. Oh, okay. A little faster. Um, yeah. So, we won't be doing anything in the town tonight because, believe it or not, Emma was invited to a party. And I believe that's what this text is right here. Is to uh, remind us of that party. And it is one of our housemates, so we don't get to go anywhere cool, but, um... She might have invited some other people over, too. So, <laughs> um, she's not going anywhere, so I'm just going to send her home, because that's where the party's at. She wants to earn a new title in the Nerd Influence. We can do that. Alright, come on, Emma. Look at this nice car. Where the heck did she get that? That wasn't with our house, was it? Oh. Alright. So. We are home. And um, we just changed into our formal wear because that's what Yi wanted us to wear for her party. Which um, is totally cool, but it's a little strange that we're dressing in our formal formal wear for a bonfire. Um, why don't you go out here? Run. Run in your dress in heels. Come on, Emma. A little faster. Alright. Let's be a nerd and throw in a test tube. I like how it makes the fire look. Come on, Emma. Throw it in. <laughs> I like that one. Really goes with her dress quite nicely. Who are you, Margaret Cade? Let's give her a nice little greet. Here's Ashley de Sorrento. De Sorrento. Give her a friendly introduction. I think she's, yeah, she's one of our roommates. We should get to know her. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on, go talk to her. Let's tell her a joke. Ooh, she thinks we're hot. Maybe she'll make us into a fairy. Why don't we ask her uh, how old she is? Chat. Friendly asks. 
sign. And ask her about her day. She's one day younger than us. That's cool. Alright. I don't know where she went. But it doesn't look like she uh, is in the mood for talking. Oh, she's a communications major. Just like us. That's cool. Um. Scrap that. I'm going to have Emma just do some quick social media stuff before bed because it is after 10 and she does have class pretty early in the morning um maybe we can just get to the point where we can make a blog oh slow down slow down a lot not that much just a little all right um she's gonna go watch the bonfire that's cool that's fine except i would like you to do more of this stuff She's gotta be close, right? Let's check. Oh, we can't. Oh, right there. Yeah. So she's almost got it. <clears throat> she wants to do laundry. Okay. I'm sure we'll get to do laundry soon. Ooh, and she stinks. She's got the stinky green coming off of her. Alright, well, let's have her just go up and take a shower then. Oh, and um, uh, since the last episode, I have completely redone Emma's room. Oh, now she can make a vlog. So it uh, is completely made over. And, um, yep, there you just saw it all. I tried to incorporate her favorite color as much as possible, which is a nice spice berry. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just. What the heck is up with her hair? Oh, the shower hair. I'll give you a quick, uh, tour this room. Okay. Turn on this room. Okay. Um, and then when she's done peeing, I'll have her go to sleep. And then I'll have you... Pause. Okay. Right before she goes to bed so the lights stay on. Put the walls up. So, uh, this is Emma's room. This is her little study area. Um, I did get one of these, um, university welcome baskets. Just because I accidentally, accidentally deleted hers before. And then maybe in the future we can get the freebies from there and the try taking the aptitude test, but um, I incorporated a lot of pinks and uh, black and white with uh, the spice berry color. Um, so yeah, this is her little study area, and she's got a little hamper, um, and then this is her bed. Uh, I liked the floral print, and then I put some like flowers and wispy kind of things around. And then over here is her little sitting area to relax. And then she's got this nice, sophisticated setup for her, uh, fireplace mantle thing. <laughs> Forgot what it was called for a moment. And then over here we just have her little, um, like, fashion setup. Yeah, it's, it's really simple. Um, I did kind of go with the brighter pinks and stuff with the spice berry because, you know, college or university is often a transitional period in, you know, lives and mindsets and figuring out who you are as a person. Uh, so I really, I left some of the little kitty kind of things in there. I mean, the, the mirror and the makeup box and then this little, uh, bunny rug. But then there are some more, like, adult touches, like the, the, the sophisticated looking painting, the nice fireplace setup and all that stuff. So that's why it's kind of a hodgepodge of... Is this a kid's room or is it an adult's room? Okay, so it's already 6 a.m. She did not sleep as long as I was hoping. But we have time for her to go and have some breakfast before class. Yes. Okay. We'll double speed through this. Because I don't want her to be late for class. But she needs to eat. Oh my gosh. Alright, come on Emma. You gotta scarf that down. Scarf it down. Anyways, so, um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about her room. Is it too girly? Should I kind of make it a little more, I don't know, toned down? I tried to make it pretty neat and orderly because she is a perfectionist, but... I don't know, I consider myself a perfectionist in a few things, and... 
My bedroom is nowhere near organized and clean. It's usually a mess. So I don't know. I tried to get a little bit of clutter in there. But. Alright, so she's done with her first class. And I'm not going to have her do anything because I know her second class starts in two hours. She's not. She's going to go home, but she's not even going to make it there before she has to go to her next class. So we'll just quadruple speed this. Okay, so we want to... Let's work hard. No, we'll, we'll socialize. We'll see if we can meet anyone new. Maybe a plant sale? Hmm? That would be pretty cool. I doubt it, though. Alright, so while she's in there, can we just um, back up your little... Okay, can we just appreciate how beautiful and huge the buildings on this campus are? Like, holy cow. I know it's supposed to be like a, an older college with all the big brick buildings that look like castles, but in my university, it's kind of old, but we don't have cool, huge buildings like that. They're all tiny. Oh, wow. I just turned that up really loud. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so Emma is ridiculously tired. She's a little hungry. Um, let's, before we even leave this building, let's make her blog. Hey. See how we can do. Make new blog, and we will call it... What will we call it? Um, I'm so bad at naming things. We will call it... Uh... The road to university life. I don't know. We can change it later. But for now, that's what we'll call it. And we'll do a post and say... Officially done... Oh, one. <laughs> officially done with my first day of class. Exclamation point, because we're excited about it. Post! Alright. Write a new blog post and improve. Okay. So we gained 15 followers. Way to go, Emma. Um, let's zoom out here. And go to the coffee shop. Can we go with anyone? I don't know, Samantha. I think she's... Set? Okay. Yeah, Samantha's one of our roommates, but I don't want to go to the coffee shop with her. Um, nothing against Samantha, but I don't know. Well, let's keep going. Maybe we'll meet someone cool at the coffee shop. Someday soon would be nice. Okay, so before she falls asleep where she's standing, I'm going to have Emma buy an energy drink. Let's get... I don't know, these must have different, like, <laughs> levels of energy giving. Let's buy the green leaf of Palooza because it sounds really cool. <laughs> Alright. Make that coffee for us, Norm. I think he was at the meet and greet, actually. Alright, drink your coffee. You just picked it up, I saw you. What'd you do with it? This is so cool. It's a really fancy machine to make coffee. Okay. Well, let's go sit down. While she's drinking that, let's scope out who's here. We have Connie Cronk, Tiffany Ingalls, Wade Anthony, Manisha Kapoor. Is there anyone upstairs? No one's upstairs. And who else just walked in? Brian Peterson. And he's walking out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess we were just a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Who can we talk to? Where did everyone go? Oh, here's... Let's go talk to Wade Anthony. Friendly... No. Let's just greet him. Did we... Oh, I think he was at the meet and greet. Okay, so she ate that free candy bar that came with her, uh, 
that we got from the meet and greet. Okay. Well, let's go upstairs. So he's pretty cute. He's real hairy, though. Noticeably hairy. <laughs> I wonder if he's a werewolf. Let's check. Oh, no, he's human. Okay. Well, let's tell him a joke. Ask how old he is. About his major. Sign. Alma mater. If he's single. Okay. Okay. So, she wants to complain about video games. We can do that. If I can find it. Complain about video games. Ooh, he's 20 days older. Is he an adult? I don't even know. He's a workaholic. Well, he's in the right place. Going to university is usually good for those who want to advance themselves in their careers. Ooh, our signs are compatible. Can I just say I love the color of her hair? I like when, um, base game sims have a unique style. Alright, so he went to fancy school. What else do we want? We want to send a text to Che Justice? Che? Which one is she? I'm assuming it's a girl. Oh, here we go. No, it's a guy. Oops. Well, let's send him a friendly text. And then she's really tired, so I'm actually going to have her go home soon. But we will write a new blog post because she wants to. I think it's important to keep up with her lifetime wishes and her little wishes down here. Um, Wade Anthony has life figured out. I don't know. I just wanted to have his name in it. Look at 225. No, okay. That was. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just saw the plus 225 and I thought she gained that many followers and I was about to, I don't know, I was about to fall over in my chair, but she actually lost six followers. So sad, that was just her, uh, the 225 was her lifetime happiness points. <laughs> well, we gained something from that post. Uh, why don't you go home because I know you're gonna get crashed from your caffeine buzz soon. In about an hour. Ooh, there was an herb in the drink. A green leaf. It makes sense since it was like the green leaf of Palooza energy drink. Okay. So, Emily, I would like you to come up here and use your bed. She can't sleep yet. Seven minutes and she can sleep. Is she really cleaning right now? Actually, it's only 7.30. That's cool if she wants to do laundry. Stop doing that. And do laundry. Oh, she smiled. Come on, just, just do any... Okay, never mind. Now she's crashed. And she has no energy. She can do laundry in the morning, because I'm sure she'll wake up early. But, anyways. I'm gonna cut out here, and I will be back in the morning. Okay, so I know I said I was going to come back in the morning, but uh, you will not believe this. Look at this. We're being robbed. It's only, you know, Tuesday morning at 1.51 in the morning. We've been literally been living in this house for like two days, and we're being robbed. Where is this burglar? Where? I'm just, uh, I don't even know. I can't comprehend. There she is. Right, girl? I think so. Yes. Okay. This, uh, Nancy Krogart is trying to steal from us. I don't even think we have an alarm. No, we don't have an alarm system. <sighs> I don't know why you want to call her. That's kind of random, but okay. So, let's see what she takes. I'm gonna follow you, Nancy Krogart. I do not like her. I don't care if she's a wonderful person, you know, when she's not being a burglar. But, oh, if she steals our TV, I'm going to be upset. If 
fight? Why are you- Oh. She's brave. She's gonna fight the burglar. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna quick pause this. Get a good view here. Alright. Pre-fight showdown here. I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures so that we can have a nice scrapbook at the end of this season. But, okay. So. Oh geez, we won. <laughs> okay. Oh, we woke Ashley up. Yay, we won a fight. Cool, all right. Well, we didn't get anything stolen. So that's sweet. And now I think we're up for a while because we're hungry. Oh, gross, look at this. Oh. I hate university in The Sims just because no one else in the house or the dorm helped clean. That's so gross. Okay, where are you, Emma? Disgusted, dirty surroundings. I know, I tried to help clean up. That should be better now. Why don't you clean that up because I couldn't and then you can go take care of your needs all right I'll go over here go upstairs use this toilet and then take a nice bath Ooh, we should go buy bubble bath I wonder if we can find a store on this campus to buy bubble bath because that would help with her uh, stress levels as we get farther on in this um, college life oh my gosh Okay, um, I'm gonna pause it here quick and bring her into create a sim and change her hair because that's ridiculous. So I will be right back. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, who puts their hair up in pigtails to uh, take a bath or a shower, right? I mean, it only makes sense to have it down, which is what I gave her. So we'll just uh, kind of go through this real quick and then have her go back to sleep. Um, if it'll even let us. I think she has class at 8 a.m. on Tuesdays. What? No, that changed her hair? Okay. I'll fix that later. I think I had her hair locked. Yeah. That didn't let us sleep for very long. But I had her hair locked, so it's changed it for all of her outfits. But I will fix that before the next episode. Um, but she is about to go to class. And... I will send her there. Yes, her class starts soon. I know this. I actually don't mind her hair like that. It's quite pretty. I would prefer it to be back up, though, in her little ponytail bun thingy. I love these outside classes. They're so much fun. Right, let's see. Ooh, I like his wings. Emmanuel Young. Right, let's take some pictures. Look at that. She is camera ready. Alright. Enough with the pictures. I know. Um, I'm sorry if it gets annoying, but I'm going to take a lot of pictures because, like I said, I want to document each of our clones and their uh, life accomplishments. But, um, I think our timer is about to go off and she is just sitting in class. So, I'm actually going to bring her into create a sim right now and change her hair quick, and I think that'll be it for the episode. Um, and I think with the next episode, we'll just pick up right after class and uh, see if we can meet someone new. Maybe go to some place other than the coffee shop this time, like the comic store or something. There we go. That's pretty. Okay. And accept. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, maybe we'll give up uh, the mascot guy a call. I forgot his name, but maybe we'll call him and have him just come over for an evening or go out somewhere. That could be fun. He is a huge nerd, and I mean that in an endearing way. So maybe we can take him to the comic shop. But... <sighs> I have literally 10 seconds left on my timer, so I'm going to turn that off quick. And uh, yeah, this was episode number two 
of The Sims 3 Cologne Challenge. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, feel free to comment if you have anything to say about this series or my channel or just life in general because I would love to hear from you. But anyways, my name is Terra Nova and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day.